Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 Today I'm going to explain why I've been driving that V6 Cherokee Limited around all this time. I actually been having some pretty major issues with my 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. And it actually didn't start out that way. I thought it was going to be a minor thing. I'm going to show you some clips of what happened, but basically it started out as a bearing noise, what it sounded like a wheel bearing to me. And um it steadily progressed from there so i'm going to show you the videos and you'll see how it progressed before i ended up at the dealer so you can hear it more going slow and especially in right turns as you'll hear now I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I, it seems like it is coming from the driver's side more. Definitely up front, though. So we'll see what it is. So my latest problem is with the 4x4 low system, I cannot get it to engage. If I hit the button, it keeps blinking and trying to. And on a dash, you'll see it blinking, and then it cancels out. 4x4 shift cancel, retry, and I keep doing it. I am in the right gear, I'm in neutral, and I've also tried uh, moving slightly forward or back, and it does not want to engage. So I'm gonna get this taken care of. It should be under powertrain warranty, and hopefully get this and the wheel bearing taken care of. So guys, the latest issue with my Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk is four wheel drive system unavailable service required and this is just just happened uh driving normally on the highway so uh that's not good definitely want four wheel drive here in the winter and um it's actually scheduled to go in to service tomorrow so we're gonna this should all be under warranty under the powertrain warranty so we're gonna get this taken care of, the wheel bearing, which I think is an issue, front wheel bearing, and then it also does not shift in the four wheel drive low. So hopefully we get that all squared away. Okay, so I just got it back from the dealer and the noise is gone, I'm happy to report. And I also wanna show you how easy it is to get in the four low now. Your transmission does have to be in neutral and you just hit the button and clicks right in almost immediately. So let me tell you what they ended up doing. So for the four wheel drive service warning, that was the PTU, from PTU, basically the transfer case for the four wheel drive system transfers power to the front, from the front to the rear and um, the bearings in there were bad, um, needed total unit replacement. So they swapped that out. Then they also, after they swapped that out, they also said my drive shaft was binding and that needed a replace. So they replaced that. Fortunately, both of those are covered on their Jeep powertrain warranty. Now I have about 56,000 miles on the Jeep right now. And uh, the normal, powertrain warranty is five years 60,000 mile typically 2015 I think 2014 and 15 it was five year 100,000 mile so anyway either way it would have been covered under either of those now in addition they also replaced one of my front wheel bearings the passenger side front and when I bought my vehicle at, at that dealer they offered this warranty forever for powertrain. Fortunately, that covered the front wheel bearing because Jeep does not cover wheel bearings as part of their powertrain coverage. So I, I lucked out, everything was covered under warranty, estimated around $4,000 worth of parts. So um, yeah, luckily um, I, I lucked out there. But um, in addition, last year, if you saw the video, I had my rear differential replaced. So basically my total drive line has been replaced, except for of course, uh, engine and transmission. 
but uh, all the four-wheel drive um, components uh, have been replaced. So it's unfortunate, but at least it was covered under warranty. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below if you've had this issue or problems with your Cherokee. This is the Trailhawk, so it probably has a little bit more um, wear and tear with the heavier, larger tires, off-road tires, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you've had those issues. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.